Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to choose colors in your knitting and crochet projects using the color wheel. I'd like to give a big shout out to my friend Tamara at MooglyBlog.com who uses color beautifully on her website and in her YouTube videos. You are probably familiar with the colors of the rainbow. Artists like to arrange these colors in a color wheel to help match colors in projects. White, black, and gray are generally considered neutral colors. As you can see in Tamara's pretty blanket, the white and gray bring out the pretty blue. Even in my beading sample, the gray background makes the other colors pop out nicely. There are several different kinds of color wheels, and these two are my favorite. I'll have links on where to purchase them in the description of this video. This is how to read a color wheel. Use the dial to put the color you want to match on top. To find its complementary color, which means its strong, vibrant pair, trace down along the complementary line. Purple and yellow make a nice contrasting color pair, as do red and green, as you can see in most Christmas items. Triad colors, as you can see by this triangle, are also very bold and eye-catching when placed together, especially in this backpack from Tamara at Moogly. And the split complementary color scheme is also strong, but a little less vibrant. Any colors that are next to each other or analogous usually blend together very nicely. For example, you can see how I use the analogous red, orange, and yellow tints in this shell stitch example. And for this next example, I use the greens and blues, which work well together. I love using a mint green and a light aqua blue color together. And as you can see in my knitted cowl, it is a nice color scheme. A lot of people love the multicolored yarn out on the market today. The reason why is the colors within are always so pretty. And why are they so pretty? Because the yarn manufacturers use the color wheel to determine which colors will work nicely together. And as you can see in Tamara's shawl, these neutral colors work beautiful together. What I like doing is practicing my color samples on my blooming flowers pattern. If the color combination looks good on smaller flowers, it almost always looks good on larger areas like blankets. I hope this video has helped you, and please check out and subscribe to my friend Tamara's Moogly Blog channel on YouTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and comment on this video, and please visit my website at nastasia.com.